Go ahead. Chuck. All right. I'm old enough to remember the Twilight Zone in first run. Not the earliest, but the later, slightly later years. Okay. okay. Like in the, the 60s. It went into the mid-60s. It's still on, so. Okay. All right. <laughs> you can catch it's it. Still, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So, there were so many episodes about astronauts going crazy for lack of human interaction. Right. Okay. And I said, wow. This is going to be a big problem. I thought that was like the biggest problem we're going to face. Okay. Is people going crazy in isolation in space. Th then I met people who don't like talking to other people, <laughs> who don't like anybody, who would be just fine months, years at a time, never having human contact with anybody else. I've met these people, and sometimes I feel that way too. Perfect astronauts. I say, I, I say, give me a uh, you know a good a video account, some books, some give me a Apple Apple you know Apple Music, mm -hmm. and I'm good. I don't have to talk to anybody. So this idea that you need human contact for your survival, people I have met, un, un, undermine that claim that I have seen persistently made in uh, in, in in storytelling. But apart from that, okay. NASA has never sent anybody up alone since Mercury, okay? Right. A, B, NASA's always yapping at you on the radio. Oh, that's true, yeah. They're there all the time. Mm-hmm. All the time they're talking to you. That's true. How are you feeling today? Right. Did, you, did you turn the knob to the left three times? Right. Did you do the, the hokey pokey <laughs> that you should have? <laughs> have you spacewalked? Did you do the thing? Did you, did you have a bowel movement? Right. You know? And so it ain't like they're not there. Right. So anyhow, I think there's enough range of people's interpersonal temperament that I, I, I don't see that it's going to be a problem having somebody alone. Now, you want to know who is the most isolated person there ever was? 